Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another Transformers haul um, and a couple of other little bits as well. I've uh, only been to one boot fair this weekend. I did one which I was sort of saying before in the previous video, um, selling a couple of odd bits and bobs also for other people in the family and that as well and had a wander around while I was there. Uh, found a, a few interesting bits, let's put it that way. Uh, first bit is non-transformers, but it is something that I've wanted since I was a kid. So I don't know how complete it is, I think there's a few missiles missing off of it. But again, it is from Action Force, and I found the SAS helicopter. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be any sort of cover parts on the back here, on the engine. I know there would be some yellow missiles along on the tracks on the sides. The tracks themselves are a little bit busted. There's a couple of brakes, one at the front on one side and one at the no, well front at one side, and one at the back on one side. But other than that, it's in pretty reasonable nick. The stickers are in a bit the wrong place. That should be on the propeller the same as that one up there, I think. But um yeah, all in all, pretty tidy condition. And it's quite nice to start finding these action force parts. Obviously people are clearing out their lofts and coming across odd bits like this. There was the SAS Jeep as well, but it wasn't complete. Had bits and bobs missing from it, um, mainly as well the gun on the back. And I do actually have a complete SAS Jeep so in its box. So this is really just one of the bits I needed to find for my SAS sort of collection. Um, I have actually tried the pilot I got in there um, in the boot fair the other week into it but it doesn't quite fit I'm guessing there's a particular figure for that vehicle um, mainly because actually if I just show you on the seat there's like a nub where the uh, must be a hole in the back of the pilot so you can sit in and the legs also must be one of the ones we're a bit more articulated where you've got knee joints and that as well but I'll keep my eye out, I'll see if I can finish that vehicle off, complete it. Might even see if Repro Labels do any stickers for these guys. Because it would be quite nice to have that all finished um, as it should have been. Anyway, now getting on to transformer -y parts. Now where do I start? Well I suppose start with the more junker, well pretty much the only junker actually. Um, there's your one, your little bit missing but... Oh, if I don't drop it on the floor first, there is a Minicon from like the Blind Bags set, but he's missing his wings. But other than that, the rest of him's alright, so I'll, he was in amongst all the others I got from one seller, so I'll hang on to it and see if I can find the bits for it at some point. There is, and don't ask me the names on these guys because I literally can't be bothered to look them up for Minicons. There's the A10 Thunderbolt one in blue. The little fire truck, hazmat truck sort of thing. Um, again, from the same line of minicons. The taxi version of the car, which, strangely enough, I also picked up the police car version of the same mould. The Apache gunship minicon. The green motorbike, which I think is this ransack, I'm not sure, but just from memory. Um, yeah, again, nice little sort of mini con. The red version of the tank, because that's also in like a sandy colour as well, you can get that one. The purple American sort of muscle car, which is quite a nice one, that's actually a good mode in both versions. And the monster truck I suppose you class it as as well so yeah nice little set of minicons bearing in mind that when they came in their packets with the sweets they were like two quid each so again pennies really what I've got those for because I got most of these things from one seller who had them in the box and just brought them together the helicopter was from someone else and actually only paid a pound for that so I thought that was quite reasonable for the age of the toy the next little oddity what was in amongst all of these things 
and I can't say I've ever seen it before in the uh, sort of like shops or anything really whether it came with something particular I don't know but I actually found a Transformers watch now at the moment you can see Optimus Prime on the top strap the Autobot logo and then Optimus Prime so get that the right way up for you on the strap but it does have an ingenious thing that if you turn that round you've got a picture of Megatron you turn the strap round there and you've got get that the right way got Megatron written on it and you can even a little bit like the old classic cartoon way they used to break between scenes you can turn the cover of the watch face round so it's Decepticon now so you can either have it Autobot or Decepticon and of course you get a little digital display of transformers on the inside now it needs a battery to check whether or not it's working but just as a little oddity it's quite good and strangely enough although this is made for kids obviously it fits me it does actually fit an adult so and not even on like the last hole either it's just sort of several holes back so not necessarily going to wear it as my main watch but it's always a bit of a laugh and if I ever get to AA I might use this for the day just for a laugh um, but yeah not bad anyway a bit of fun the next thing that I picked up again in amongst all the others was another RPM and I got the Megatron tank again mainly because it's a bit more fun it's got the tank barrel and it does actually look reasonable like uh, Megatron's tank mode from Revenge of the Fallen so yeah I didn't mind getting that one now what to do next well I suppose I'll do the robot heroes I know Black Rabbit collects these as well um, so I did get actually a couple of doubles if there's any what he's after from the doubles um, if he lets me know now this is a double I got Hound from G1 which is in good nick uh, I got Blitzwing which again is another double and again is in good nick so let me know if you need these ones Rabbit I think this is supposed to be Springer from the movie line and again that's a double and now getting to the ones what I don't have which I was quite pleased to pick up I've got movie skids which again is quite a fun little figure I got a different repaint now I'm sure this isn't the same as the one I've already got and this is a movie star screen but he's got the tattoos and Decepticon tattoos on his wings but I don't remember the one I've already got having the red on the arms and the purple on the mouth so I'll have to check that one so I don't think that one's actually a double I think it's actually a repaint which is so unusual for Hasbro and the last one which I know I haven't got and I think is a great little figure especially the face sculpt on it is again Revenge of the Fallen Megatron in his sort of tank mode tank arm um, great little face sculpt if I bring that in see if that will focus in for you what a fun little figure um, so yeah really quite pleased to pick those up again all in amongst these other toys a uh, couple of other bits I picked up although one of them's missing the actual chain part I got a Bumblebee keychain which I wouldn't normally bother but it's actually quite a reasonable sort of detailed figure for the size of it it's just a rubber figure arms move at the shoulders but the actual legs have got knee articulation so it's quite good quite a fun little thing and in the same size but without his chain as I said also got Optimus Prime as well so oh, there goes Bumblebee falling over but yeah not bad and a little bit of sort of fun um, even got waist articulation on Optimus as well so yeah bit of fun Anyway, they cost pennies there in amongst the other stuff I was mainly buying. Now, getting on to Cyberburst size now, we're going up sizes. I got the obligatory Jazz missing his spoiler at the back, so that will just go in the spares box. I got a, another green Skids, which one of these is promised to Matt. You know who you are, Matt. <laughs> 
I'm trying to think of a YouTube name, but I can't think of it offhand. Um, I also got a Cyberverse Jetfire. So uh, I'm not sure if that's the same as the one I've got or not. I know there's a red colour, and I'm not sure which one the other one is I've got. So I have to check up on that. Another one which will go in the spares is, of course, Barricade. Hmm, almost forgot. Um, all complete, matching good nick. So yeah, that'd be always good to pass on to somebody else. And again, not sure if the coloration is the same or not to the one I've already got, but I found another sort of Cyberverse Legends, whatever size you want to class this one as, but the animated Bumblebee. So, yeah, not bad. The only thing is his logo is a little bit worn. Focus that in for you. It's a little bit worn on his chest, but other than that, he's all right. Anyway, so that's the smaller bots apart from one which I'll show in a sec. Now we get to an oddity and I might need some help actually which is unusual because I have no idea what toy line this is from. It's got no makers insignias or you know literally nothing written on it at all to say who's made it. It's not a transformer because obviously I'd recognise that but it's actually built reasonably well and it's actually built with die cast metal in it so it's unusual because it's actually harkening back to uh, G1 build quality the robot mode is rubbish and I'll say that before I show you it but the vehicle mode is actually not bad and it's actually of a super bike and yet as you can see it's got robotic face Let's get that into shot which ain't bad it's got arms which obviously it should have had some weapons or something at some point because it's got holes in its fists. The legs are let's just say that's a bad bit of kibble and the chest having a wheel on the front and basically the bike front for a chest is pretty poor but like I say this sort of fairing part what forms the back of the arms and obviously the side of the bike is actually die cast metal. Oh and that's the other thing the wheels tend to pop off. Uh, I've tried it in and they don't really hold in so I was thinking perhaps that was supposed to be the weapon but no so I think that just tends to pop off but any ideas what this belongs to because I ain't got a clue um, I'm doubting it's even anything to do with Power Rangers but it was in amongst the rest of it and the seller just sort of said I'll add that as well so who am I to argue for a freebie the next thing which was in there as well was a little bit odd. I know it's something like the Activators line or something like that, I think it's from, but it's black out. Now, he's, as far as I can tell, apart from a missile, complete. Um, does have a face a little bit like an owl, which is very bizarre. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad little figure. Um, there was another Activator or similar line to this anyway, whatever it is, um, of Volt or Jolt. Volt, I think it was but it was missing a couple of bits and I actually stuck that on our own uh, boot fair store and actually sold it for 50p somebody was happy enough to pick it up for spare parts and to be honest I just wasn't bothered the figure itself was appalling but at least Blackout kind of looks a little bit more like Blackout and the helicopter mode is reasonable anyway so a bit of fun in that side of it but anyway the next one what was in there was in bits so I had to pop him back together and he is still missing a piece as well which is a little bit annoying um, it's actually a now it's movie line but I'm not sure which of the movies but it would have been one of the first two and it's crankcase so he's a Decepticon SUV but he's missing as you can see on that side he's got a windscreen part by his fist he's missing that on this side but other than that not a bad little figure and a bit of fun, like I say, I had to put his arms and legs back on. So he's lucky he's even in one piece now, not in somebody's bin after doing the boot fair. Uh, the next one, short of a name for this guy. Now it's actually a recolor of one I found the other week, and for the life of me, I can't think what his name is either. Um, but it is from the Sector 7 sort of line, which I did have another Jeep sort of from so again maybe this was from that set so it's a little green jeep a little bit reminiscent of hound 
really, to be quite honest, but I'm guessing he's got another name, so you can always PM me if you know what this guy is. I will probably look it up and find it anyway, but he's only missing a green piece on there. He's got one of his weapon parts, but obviously there are longer gun barrel parts to go with that as well. So I might dig those bits up at some point, but a nice little find. He's a good little bot mode as well, and the actual what is there is in good nick. Now another one which will go probably into my spares section, I'll check it against my own one, but my own one I brought myself when the movies came out, so mine should be alright, but movie barricade, and he is actually complete with his little frenzy figure in there as well, so a nice little pick up to find that too, um, I will actually check that because I think the lights on the top of the roof on the one I brought were a bit crooked so actually this one might actually do as a swap for my own one so yeah quite pleased with that and like I say because he was in car mode he didn't really stand out and there was a kid holding this as I got to this sort of box and I thought oh well that one's gone because it's going to say to his dad can I have it and the dad said no you can't have it you know you can't have the toy put it back and he put it back and I was like, oh, it's our relief. So I've got that in amongst the lot as well. Seems a bit mean, I know, but I didn't say no to him today. Now the last thing, which again was in amongst all these bits, and I'm assuming the kid's dad had hung on to it for years, was a G1 Stunticon. Of all the things to find in amongst some modern toys, was Dead End from the Stunticons. So, yeah, quite chuffed to find that have got him um, but I might well keep him he's actually got pretty tidy even some of his stickers are still on okay as well um, yeah I might well hang on to him um, just keep him as an alt mode version to when I eventually get to display all my figures I can have my ones in sort of like the combined mode as menace or maybe keep the odd one of the combiners that I like anyway, um, either in vehicle mode in front or transform into the individual modes and then, then at least I can get to use all the accessories from my original G1s as well because obviously they're not much help in uh, their combined mode as Menacer. But anyway, that's my haul for this week so I'm quite pleased with that, bearing in mind that was only one boot fair. Hopefully next week if the weather's as nice as it is sort of today and it was yesterday should have some nice boot fairs next week I'm guessing there could be about four if not five boot fairs that I could go to so no guarantees with boot fairing you might go around five and find nothing or I might come back with a sack full who knows anyway thanks for watching and I shall see you again either for a Transformers review or my next talk vid thanks for watching Hello everyone, um, I made a mistake, I thought I was finished my haul vid, now I looked over at my stack of stuff that I'd got and I'd been thinking about saving this guy till last and I'd saved it to last so well that I actually forgot to put it in the haul vid. I also found a, I think it's Universe, now it's either Dreadwing or Darkwing or something like that anyway, but it's the re Decepticon repaint of the silver bulb figure that I found before so I also found this guy as well which again I'm quite chuffed about he's in pretty good nick he's missing his weapon again which both him and silver bolt are short of but he still does work and he's got his transformation sounds and if I unhook his back still got his machine gun sounds too so really pleased with that and a really lovely find as well and again I've got him for a quid so really quite chuffed with that so that's just a little add-on to the end of the vid because I made a bit of a mistake and hopefully I've got this added on and I shall see you again thanks for watching